So these are the Christmas ornament swap items that I've received back from my swap. Um, you may have seen the ornament I made. It was a um, like a crazy quilt style heart. It's in one of my previous videos. This is from the Scrapper's Obsessions um, Crafting Forum, which is an Australian and New Zealand crafting forum. And these are the ornaments I got back in my swap. I just received them today, so I'll be able to use them next year, which is lovely. Um, so Faith has just sent me some cute little earrings there, so I guess I'll wear those next year or use them on something. And a lovely Christmas card. I absolutely loved my box and all the goodies she sent me, Faith. I think they're just amazing and I think you're very kind and generous from what you said. It's just, it's wonderful. Okay, so we had to make a Christmas ornament and package it. We could alter one or um, make our own or you know, if you had an ultimate, as long as you changed it in some way, it would be fine. So there's this one here. This is really pretty. She's done all the bead work herself, um, which is something I've never actually seen done before. I'm just trying to think who that's from. There's no name on it, but if I, if I, I know, I don't know if she has a YouTube channel or not. Um, but that's a beautiful ornament that one is, so there's that one. And that, I'm not sure if it's glass or not. And this one is from Carly. Carly, I've seen, I think I saw hers on her YouTube channel. Um, I'll be put the links to each if they have a channel in the description box. Oh, this is really cute. She's just um, altered up this snowflake. It's a, a little snowflake here. And then she's put tiny little music scrolls around the side with a little lace flower and a metal flower in the middle there. That's really cute. I'm actually going to put these on my tree because we keep our tree up until New Year. Um, so I'm going to use these ornaments this year, which will be nice. Because we only put our tree up a, like a week or a few days before Christmas. So I think, well, you go to all that trouble, I'm going to keep it up for two weeks. So that one's from Carly. And then there's this one. And this is from Brenda. I love the pretty bag, Brenda. I don't know... I don't know whether I don't know whether Brenda has a YouTube channel or not, um, but like I said, I will find out. Here we go. Oh wow. That's very good. That's um, it's like patchwork. That's really beautiful, Brenda. I love that. Isn't that pretty? What a wonderful job you've done with that. I absolutely love it. Very, very nice. Thank you, Brenda. And then we have this one here. And this one's from Faith. And I think I saw this on her channel also. Isn't that pretty? And it's actually... Okay, she's printed out all little um, words that I can use, and it's like a little booklet. Look at that, isn't that cute? 
I love the papers you've used. And you can put photos, it's like a little tiny mini album. I like that a lot. Isn't that lovely? Thank you, Faith. And then this one. Isn't that cute? That's done. It's almost a shame to open some of these things, isn't it? Because um, all the packaging is so pretty on them. But you get good ideas packaging their nice things. And I'll find out who made this one too because the name just escapes me right now. Isn't that cute? It's, it's a decorated heart. It almost reminds me of the way Va did her heart as well. With the, the cuts around the edge there. It's so pretty. Look at that. And it's got a J for Jeanette. I think she, um, if I recall, I think I saw a photo of it and she'd done everybody's initials on their little ornaments. So that's really pretty and that's almost something you could use year round, like hanging in your room or something. It, it's not just something you would use for Christmas because um, Mm, you could use that in all different ways, couldn't you? Okay, so those ones are my Christmas ornament tags. I'll just move these out of the way and I'll show you the other, other swap I got as well. Okay, so the next swap I was involved in is the Junked Up Doily Tag Swap. I also had a, have a video up on the tags that I made. Um, and these are the ones I got in return. This is the first one here. They all had to include a doily on them and then whatever else you wanted to put on them. Um, this is Carly's tag. Isn't that beautiful? She's done a little bit of masking of chicken wire here. It's so delicate actually. It's really nice. A little bow. A stamp tag in the back there. There's her doily and some buttons and um, I probably can't tell you everything she's done here but she does have a video up on it and she's done the heart. I like the way she's drawn the heart over the paper there as well. She's got a tiny little charm here as well. That's really lovely. Thank you for that Carly. And the next one is... <laughs> This one's a Christmas one. That one's really nice and I don't know who's made this one. That's really cute, isn't it? It's very pretty, that one. There's gems. That one's just popped off. Probably the heat. We've been having some heat over the last few days. It's sort of cooled down a bit after Christmas but up until Christmas it was very hot. There we go, that's done. Um, she's used some gems and some I guess die cuts there and some little presents some glittered cardstock and a little holly leaf in the corner and she's also I used patterned paper on the background. I don't know whether it's inked or not though so that one. It's really pretty. Oh, look at this one. Oh, wow. It's so nice. That's Faith. Of course it is. I did see a photo of this, but it just doesn't do it justice, you know. It's, just, it's like mixed media. I've never really done 
media so I want to touch it. <laughs> wow. I really have to try something like this. I'm going to oh, look at that, isn't that good? That's staples. Faith, that is just really wonderful. I'm going to have to try something like this. I did see this. I did see this. It just, it's so, so nice in person. And I keep seeing people talking about mixed media. And I like it, but it's not really something I've wanted to try that much. I mean, I, I sort of do and I sort of don't. But now seeing this, I do. I do want to try it. Because it's quite stunning. Look at that. It's quite stunning. Hmm. Thank you, Faith. That's beautiful. And then we have this one here. And this is another one using some that metal foil, I think it is. I was watching a video on that the other day. This one is from Brenda. Oh, <laughs> she says, I have spoiled you here with two doilies, one for the tag and the other for you to use as she please. Oh, isn't that nice? There we go. Isn't that a clever idea? She has it set inside this little um, band and then she's used a paper doily on her tag. And this is the, the metal foil. And it's so light yet it looks quite heavy. I like that a lot. And little lace. It's really pretty lace actually. On the top there. And that sits in. I really like that. Thank you so much, Brenda. That's something else I'll have to keep my eye out for, isn't it? And this must be it, like alcohol ink. I haven't got any, but I, I want to get some. It's wonderful. Thank you. And then last but not least, this one is so pretty. Jude made this. Now Jude also made, I noticed, um, Jude also made this heart from the other swap as well. After I moved them I found the, on the back of the tag her name was. And so Jude is Gaza Jude on YouTube. This is really Really pretty. Very vintage. Very vintage. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at those flowers. Look at that. Isn't that really sweet? And it's all layered. And then some fabric all gathered up with bead trim there. It's like a, a jute twine, but like a, almost a gimp effect, unless it's part of that one as well. That is so unusual. And then a doily, and a lace, and some paper, and um, escapes me what that's called. That's pretty isn't it? Look at the lace there. I love all the lace. It's so pretty. And some more at the back there with buttons. A flower. Oh that's beautiful. And then she's used one of those paper bags on the back. It's nice to see people using them after from you know other than just packaging in them all the time because you send them off that hopefully people use them and then she's got the Eiffel Tower here 
I love these laces and everything. Isn't it nice to touch people's work? It's really lovely. I do like this. It's really beautiful. Thank you for that, Jude. That's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And they're my four tags that I received back. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.